Change my soul to sing your song Even when my eyes can't see When I can't seem to carry on I know your hand is guiding me I know your hand is guiding me I may walk But you were all I'll ever need Gave you life to take my fall So in the storm I will have peace So come the storm I'll still believe I'm at the end And I don't know what I believe Through the cloud I see your hand Reaching down to guide me You're always reaching down to guide me Hey y'all It is the middle of the day Tuesday I'm still running a little behind but I just about have fixed my internet issues so that I can get this video uploaded for you for tomorrow. And it really is going to be an update video. Starting with, I had to duct tape my windows because the wind kept blowing them open. And uh, I still, that's as far as I've gotten on winterizing. But that did a great deal in helping. I have also cut a bunch of wood and I have chopped it and I have baskets full and I filled up my wagon and I have two other bins full and today I am on the search for one big bin because I need the trash cans for the animal food. That's on in the works. That's technically not an update. It's kind of a halfway update. So why am I standing out here? I'm standing with my truck because something has happened. I came home from town on Friday, backed in, and came over here to do something and realized my truck was dripping fluids. And I could not tell on the dirt what color it was. It just looked like a wet spot on the dirt. So um, I'm trying to figure this out and I wound up putting a plastic bag over my phone. Put my phone onto the tripod and filmed up underneath there. I still don't know. But, I do know this, Ken, my fence guy, Ken has two of those trucks. Almost, I think they're near the same date and every, or model and all that stuff. So he knows these trucks. He is uh, 
when I put the plastic bag on the phone and put it up under there, I let it drip. So it's antifreeze. So I've either got some hoses that are messed up or possibly a water pump issue is what he suggested. So that's how far we are on that. Uh, we're still not diagnosed. I know something's gonna have to be repaired and in the meantime, um, I won't be going anywhere until after Thanksgiving. Speaking of Thanksgiving, I am thankful for y'all. I am, I don't know how I would have done it if I had not had y'all to share all the crazy with. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So, here's another update. In the water house. I cleaned the tanks. I basically did everything I did over here at the water house in the reverse order it should have been done, of sorts. Uh, my tanks are clean, looking good, and I'm maintaining them now. However, in the process of not doing that, I ended up, my water filter system is a mess. And it's a whole house water filtration system. So what I have done is I have ordered replacements. Not just for the inserts, for the whole housing. Start over with what I can get and I've ordered a case of the filters because things are still coming through. Ooky, mucky stuff. So some of the mucky things that came through, I'm gonna show you this. This is my propane water heater on demand. And there's the propane. And here's the water filter system, which is not working. I have a new water heater in my truck. It has been delivered. I have new water filter things because this one leaks. If you got a leak, you can't get proper pressure. That's part of my problem. So that is going to be replaced. I've got a case of new filters. So as the yuck continues to filter through, I can get it cleaned up pretty easily. Okay, so the good news, Charlie came, he came out yesterday. Thank you, Charlie. Filled up my tank. He said it's full all the way to the top. And it'll take a while because ducks don't need quite as much water in the winter. Okay, so we're gonna walk over here with the ducks. They're uh, mid-morning treat, which is lettuce. continue to do maintenance on the duck pen and the duck yard and this is my Palo Verde tree it's going to be awesome this spring it's going to give them shade like they've never had before I'm so excited but it drains and I have to be careful because sometimes there's uh, straw and stuff that gets in the pipe um, inside and if I don't spray water in that tube and flush it out. Then after it gets a buildup um, that comes out, 
I'll go and move where I've got that little, um, I'll move the boards where the, where the pretend bridge is. <laughs> it's a bridge. I don't ever step on it. It's actually just for the animals. It's secure enough if you don't put a lot of weight on it. <laughs> so I thought, I need to update you on what I've done in the yard, and I've not recorded. Now, this is my wood pile. And y'all may have noticed in one of my recent videos that it was pretty tore up, and it still is. It's not completely covered, but I have kind of fixed it so it will hold for a while because the bottom of it is so thin, all of it is, but it'll last for a little while longer. So I've done that, and what I'm focusing on is what's under this silver tarp. And these tarps, they're so ragged. They're just coming apart all the time. Tarps in the desert, man, they do not hold up. Now, y'all remember what, me putting this on last spring? So this is a year's worth, well, not even a year, of what happens. And I've had to replace water bottles. Um, this one. These are what a lot of, this is what I use to hold, hold it down in places. And those, those jugs have actually, since they've been in the sun, they've broken or they leak and the water goes out. So I have replaced them as I've seen them and I'm replacing them. Can you see? I'm replacing them with the vinegar bottles because I think the vinegar bottles will, the handle is one piece in the plastic because I have had to replace some of these because the handle came off. Okay, so after Thanksgiving, I should be able to get my shower. <laughs> after Thanksgiving, we'll know what's going on with my truck. I am still working on a lot of projects. I divide my time and try to do something in every area every day. And the meantime, I am trying to use up all of my expired foods because I have them and I invested in them. I went a year and did not eat much at all. And in my life, the zombie apocalypse happened when Bob died. And so now, I'm starting to think I should start using the food that I saved and set aside for the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> what I have chosen to have for Thanksgiving now instead of a turkey and all the trimmings. And I will show you that because I'm gonna make chicken and dumplings. And I'm gonna make some kind of dessert thing. And I'm gonna put pumpkin and fresh apples. That's all I know so far. <laughs> Stay tuned. I mainly, I just wanna wish all of y'all a very happy Thanksgiving. I pray for peace in your home and that you will embrace, <laughs> embrace all the crazy. Cause I know, I remember it well. You plan the big Thanksgiving feast. You have in your mind, everybody's gonna come and enjoy themselves. And for the most part they do. And it leaves you with lovely, memories that can last your whole lifetime. I love y'all. I hope you've enjoyed this little update. I hope it encourages you. Just keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. I love y'all. Sun kiss your face
Love, love. 